Like I just felt like I was in a bad place, a bad All I want to do is just to edit my video. Yeah, let me do it myself. They called me. I didn't know that they called in Nigeria. Bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, so you trip the swag too. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Chuche's mind. I may be young, but I'm ready to give you all my love. Please subscribe. I'm hungry. Hi, family. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm back, and I'm not loving it like yesterday was so 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 depressing and sad for me i don't know why yesterday i felt so lonely like misunderstood depressed like i just felt like i was in a bad place a bad hole and i don't know i always feel like this every time i come back from london because i just feel like i'm not meant to be here I shouldn't be here. This is how I feel of recent. Like, I feel like I belong in the UK or maybe outside Nigeria. Nigeria is not for me, it's not allowing me to flourish. That's how I feel, to be honest. And I really enjoyed this trip because I didn't stress so much. Not like I'm saying YouTube is stressed, but I just took a break from everything that I'm so crazy about, like I'm passionate about. I just take a break from everything. I was still vlogging because you guys will have watched all of my London vlogs by now. And so that really, really didn't really affect my vlogging, but it's just editing parts now because I don't know if I told you guys, I had to send in my laptop for repair and I stupidly made the decision that they should wipe out my laptop them wiping out my laptop everything has gone my pictures my videos everything on my laptop has gone and i feel kind of sad because i had memorable and fun videos on my laptop that i made with my laptop i don't know how i like i didn't even send it to my hard drive and then my hard drive that i thought i backed up like i thought i backed up my laptop on my hard drive i can't see the file that i backed up i'm just like take a break she like it's not that it's deep but life goes on so just forget about it but yeah so i don't have final cuts to edit and paying for final cuts at this very moment it's not in my budget <laughs> so i'm just looking for a way i can get like a cracked version from someone that has it or like like i can just borrow from someone like once they've downloaded it they can just give it to me for me to use till I can afford it but yeah so I'm stuck with no editing at all and it's frustrating my life because I want to edit but I can't edit because I don't have the software and I don't want to use iMovie because it's it's not bad but it's, it doesn't do what I want it to do with Final Cut and I, start, and I have to start learning again because I forgot everything I knew about iMovie so there's no point trying to use iMovie I this angle looks better if you think about it. I don't even know what is happening. Can you guys see? I don't know what is happening to me. But I was going to say something. I'll see you guys later. Good afternoon. Oh, it's more like morning actually. Good morning to you. No birds. What's your friend? So, guys, I'm getting slightly irritated a little bit. Why? All I want to do is just to edit my video because I've gotten the opportunity to start editing my video. And everybody has something. My fuel is low. I didn't even know. I need to go and buy fuel. All I just want to do is edit to be honest. Like it's really annoying. One moment I sit and I'm trying to edit. Oh uchi this, oh uchi that. Just let me breathe, please. Let me edit. I have so many videos to edit. It's going to be more still than it is, even though it's really not a big deal if it's still. 
content is content video is video but yeah I've been able to edit like two videos so far. I want to edit like up to five videos. So you know that when I go back to first act, I won't be like stressing over internet, stressing over uploading my videos because Noya has really good internet. First act internet is shit. To be honest, I feel like my first two vlogs for um tra my travel vlog, they're going to be really boring because they're all about covid and self-isolation but after that you know it gets better my new intro i hope you guys love my new intro because i love it even though loki i feel like it's not the best i can do but let's just manage it let's manage it because i feel like i can do better i have more to oh i feel like i can do better or I don't know. I'll see you guys later. I'm trying to edit my third video. But we shall see. We shall. We're back in my car. My friends say I look cute with this my hairstyle. <laughs> I feel like I look like a tomboy. But I want to rock my natural hair for a while. I feel like if I make this style like this, it might be better. But I kind of like it like this. Well, how are you guys doing? I realize that I've not had time to ask you guys that question. How is life? How is everything? Like, so yeah. Bye, people. See you later. So I'm trying to edit my coming back to Lagos vlog, like when I go back to Lagos and I noticed that I didn't see certain things. But like let me just say like I've come on here to talk about my COVID experience, like my COVID test in Lagos here, like in Festac. I feel like they just want to kill you with that swab. Because literally, I don't understand why the guy was trying to shove the swab down my throat. And at the point, I was like, okay, do my nose. It's like he wants to... Because I took it from him. I was just like, you know what? Let me do it myself before you kill me. Because I don't understand why you are being so violent with this swab thing. Because when I did it before I left, I was perfectly fine. Like, the person didn't try to kill me. I did it when I was there. They didn't try to kill me. So why is it now you... But I don't know your job because it's just to take swab. It's not to like try to, to wash my whole mouth and nose and everything. But yeah, and also, they called me. I didn't know that they call in Nigeria. I was like, hi, is this which I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, this is from NCDC. We just want to call to make sure that you're self isolating. And also, have you taken your test? I was like, yes, yeah, so I took my test. I'm negative. But yes, I'm self isolating. Blah blah blah. And she's like, okay, please, this is our number. Give us a call if you have any issue, any complaint, anything. I'm just like, sure, no problem. Do I have the number? No. Excuse my look. I just came back from your head. <laughs> and I had a little bit too much. I didn't have that much, but I mean, like it, so my struggle. I don't have like really tiny eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm.